Welcome back to the channel, y'all. This is your boy, Only Official Damien. Right now, we're about to get into a little installation in the rear back seats, making it all fully covered in all weather protection. So, yeah, check this out. All right, so here we have the rear seat protection cover. Um, it's made out of like this rubber material. Um, let's see here. See, to my lack of knowledge, I had ordered the the velcro already i guess it comes separately but i guess they already come attached um i might just apply a few more uh just to like really give it that strength being attached and not being loose in any area here it is the product number let's see here. open it up so yeah this is what this looks like and this is what I mean by extra gappage. I want it fully secured and flat. I don't want no gaps. I want the fit make nice and tight. You know what I mean? What I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, so. Oh, and also what came with my order. Ordered this. Um, just because I do have a track event coming and I just thought it would be just cool to have. Um, this is the first aid kit from Honda. Let's see, here. Let's see what we got here. that technique all right this is cool hey if you guys if you guys track anything is possible when you're out there it's always good to be prepared than not prepared you know even for like others that don't come prepared at least you're prepared to help them out because you know it's all one big family event <laughs> as they say so you know this is just something good to have let's see what do we got here anyway Got some flexible fabric adhesive bandages. We got some, yeah. some gauze. Some stretch gauze. Yeah, gauze. We got, uh, we got some cleaning towel. Okay, survival wrap. Some more band aids. Got some, I think, some gloves right here. Uh, we got some scissors. And yeah, just a little brochure. But yeah. Thought it would be neat to just have that but yeah all right so let's get to the installation of the rear seat cover all right so we have the rear seat covers unwrapped from the wrapping and this is pretty much what it looks like pretty much we're just gonna um take these off and you know, start putting them on like the center and maybe one on the edge up there all right so pretty much just gonna just do a dry mounting here right there where else let's put one right there and maybe we could spread it out right there use this with one more this one looks really secured I'm not really too worried about this one yeah, it's secured there i mean i guess i could just add one right there looks pretty secured we just move one spot there, one spot here. Yeah, looks about right. Make a little bit offset here. Oh, they're on the actual parts there. So, okay, I get it. I see. I see. So you're gonna want to line them up on the bevels. I'm noticing from factory, they're like that as well to give it more surface point of attachment. So yeah, all right, so pretty much, um, looks like that's gonna be the layout for all of them. All right, so pretty much we're just gonna attach the loose ones uh, onto the mats. Velcro side. That didn't work out at all. <laughs> uh, well, that was a waste of time. I'm gonna have to redo this <laughs> part of the installation a little later. But uh, yeah, uh, 
I guess I'll just secure it at a future date. No biggie. That's what I was noticing. Like, wait a minute. If this is not the sticky part, then where is it at? It's all good. I'll get it at the store later. But in the meantime, let's just get this insulation over with. Just peel all these off. Still. These uh, half condom size film. <laughs> Protect the fabric off. Where this Roadrunner. Yeah, these Roadrunners are like family around here. Don't, don't fuck with them, alright? Están familia. Estos pájaros de la callos. <laughs> What's up, dude? Line it up like so. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. Really? <laughs> Jeez. This stuff is uh, pretty strong, not gonna lie. So I guess that's a good thing. This is our attack point here. I guess it's gonna meet this line. There's a seam here. So let's. Uh, Man, it took longer than I thought. But yeah, there are some loose ends as you can tell right here. Those extra Velcros are gonna definitely come in handy and I'll be getting those attached to that later. But at least I know I got laid out and this is just what it looks like. I'm telling you this bird just stays posted. That's what's up though. Now on to the next side here. See here. All right. Lined up here. Lined up here. Nope. No. All right. That was a lot easier. Heck yeah. Yeah. Maybe one more tab here. Definitely one in the middle there. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. Holy, look at that. Man. Always wanted this on my other hatchback that I owned before this. Let's check it out. Got the 3D Max Spider rear trunk cargo mat with the OEM Honda rear seat covers like it's just the perfect combo you know so sick so happy with this setup definitely gonna make it a little tighter once I had these other velcros attachments so I literally thought this came with everything even with the sticky part but I guess not so I'm gonna have to source that out at your local Walmart or something local hardware store wherever they sell velcro adhesive tape whatever Put the seats up, let's see. See, and there it is. It just looks beast. Every hatchback, every 10th gen Civic hatchback owner, or even sedan, I believe they make them for a sedan as well. Coupe, all that, just, you need this set up. This is it. Yo, so that pretty much wraps up today's video. Well, thank you for tuning in and you know showing your support. Hopefully, you guys like today's uh, content uh, for installing the rear seat. 
uh, back covers. Tomorrow we'll continue on with the little modifications. I plan on uh, vinyl wrapping the pillars on the outside. So, so yeah, until the next video, please like, subscribe, and share. Oh, it, it just means so much to me. You guys have no idea. So on that note, keep it locked, spread good vibes, and cheers. <laughs> Try, I, okay, honestly, I did a little shmi, um, like outro type of thing, you know. Cheers. <laughs> Shout out to shmi, you know. Man, that guy's always like, you know, viewing all the latest cars and whatnot and reviewing them. And just shout out to all the YouTubers, all the vloggers and car enthusiasts out there, like always, all right? Spread good vibes. Have a good day.